Hello, it's Mark from VanandBoat.com. Uh, I'm down on the, the boat working today and I thought I'd take the opportunity to do a quick review of this. This is my solar charge controller. This is the EP Ever or the EPEVA uh, MPPT series, the, the, multi, the maximum power point tracking. What that means is it will track the output from the solar panel and adjust the load on it to ensure that it's always working at its most efficient, efficient level. Uh, there are four different versions available. There's the 1210A, the 2210A, the 3210A and the 4210A. And the first number relates to the number of amps that it can produce. So this is the 3210A, which means it produces or it can run maximum um, a load of 30 amps. I've never got anywhere close to that, but I thought when I bought it, I would buy one uh, that would sort of be future proof if I upgrade my solar panels which currently are rated at 75 watts then I won't have to replace the controller. It's a fairly simple to install device down at the bottom here we've got six screw terminals and also a, a, a plug at the bottom there which is a, um, a network type an RJ45 plug and that's for connecting the remote display which I'll, I'll show, show you in a bit. At the other connections, the, the left hand side we've got the solar panel, uh, the middle one the, the battery and the right hand one is the load. Now you don't necessarily have to use the load connections, you could just connect your, your, uh, your lights or whatever directly to the battery, but where this is useful is it means that we can monitor the, the load going through the device. Okay, and above we've got this screen, and on the left it shows the solar panel, the middle we've got the battery, and then we've got the light on the outside, so the light represents the load. What we'll do is we'll press this button here, this is select, and we'll then go through a number of different options. Okay, we can tell now that the battery is at 13 volts, so it's reasonably healthy, uh, but we're actually drawing off the battery, we're taking 0.6 amps off. That means that we're using more than we are currently producing. It's a, currently a, a miserable day down in southern England, uh, it's just about to snow, there's not much light falling on the panel, so we're actually discharging the battery at the moment. Okay, you can see we get 0.2 amps from the panel, I'll just go back to the beginning. Okay, 14 volts at 0.2 amps is only a few watts, so very, very little power. Now I have to say that the build quality of this is very, very good. I've owned it for around two years now and it's been in operation ever since. I've plugged it in, connected it up and just left it and it's worked on its own without any intervention at all. Uh, on the back of it, it's got a, a fairly large heat sink, an aluminium heat sink, so there's never any worry it's going to overheat. You can tell also on here in a second, I scroll through, you can see on this one here that since it's been installed it has produced 36 kilowatt hours so that's a reasonable amount that I effectively haven't had to pay for uh, with the marina so that's a, a bonus there. The one thing I would say is a bad design is this button here the enter button if you push that you turn the power off it's very very easy to to knock it and kill the power it also has a um, low voltage shutdown which is very useful it protects the batteries but if you've got something like a bilge pump that you want to run regardless you, you know you, you, you want the, the, the bilge pump to run even if the battery is very low uh, make sure that you, you don't connect it to the load terminal down the bottom here connect that directly to the battery so that would be my only criticism it's too easy to turn the power off I would very strongly suggest that you buy the MT50 controller and that plugs in this plug down the bottom. I'll we'll go and have a look at that over here. Here is the, the MT50. Now if you've got a setup where your uh, controller, the main charge controller, is a long way um, from where you often sit if it's not in the main cabin then this is a really useful thing to have because you can run the, the, the RJ45 cable to it and you can have this on a, a prominent display um, in the boat somewhere or in the camper van. Okay so you can see at the moment my solar panels are producing 14 volts and that's only at 0.1 amp so it's producing pretty much nothing out there. They probably also need a good clean 
and you can see that the voltage of the battery is 12.9 volts and it is currently discharging so we're taking power from the battery to run the lights. If I scroll through this menu we've got the, the time it was installed uh, so back in 2017 and the energy so today we have produced nothing because I have been discharging the battery all the time so there's been no power actually gone into the battery it's been a net loss but Monday where I wasn't here you can see that almost a kilowatt hour went in and the total uh, similar to what the other one was saying uh, we've got around 36 kilowatt hours uh, since it's been installed okay we can go through the menu we've got some more settings there you can see we're taking 0.5 amps out this one here is actually really useful because it saves you having to convert um, the the current and the, and the voltage uh, to give your power. You can instead of doing it in your head, it will tell you the readout. So at the moment we're getting 4.8 watts. That's actually quite a useful display to have. Okay, we've got things like the temperature and the load. So we're currently drawing 10 watts. There's a couple of lights on in here at the moment. Uh, there's a, a phone charger and various other bits. So we're not taking a vast amount, but we are drawing a load nonetheless, and that's exactly what we're using at the moment. Okay, I'm going back to there. You can on the controller, this is this is why I think it's worth getting, have get or get into rather a lot of other settings. So we've got this monitoring, uh, device info, that will tell you things like the serial number, and also this one here, control parameters. This one will enable us to set the type of battery we've got. So I've got a sealed lead acid, I've got two of them, so I've got 200 amp hours. We can then go through all these different limits um, for for the battery there. And you can also set that low voltage disconnect. Remember I said that it will turn off at certain voltage. You can actually um, adjust that on here. I should add it will also work at 24 volts if that's the, the voltage that your system is running on. So to summarize, um, I think it's a, a very good set of equipment. Um, you can buy them second you can buy them new rather seems to be around about £100 on eBay, on Amazon and various other websites that I've looked at. I think it's money well spent. It, it's certainly a lot better than the, the cheaper um, PWM controllers that don't have that MPPT tracking. Uh, I think it is a very worthwhile investment and um, in brighter conditions I would be able to show a much higher output. If you click below this video, you'll find the links uh, to this equipment. And also, if you visit www.vanandboat.com, you'll find lots more reviews and also uh, I've documented exactly how I've built the camper van and how I have refurbished the boat. So I look forward to seeing you at www.vanandboat.com.